think I could think of you of, of starting a party at like midnight? Like what time will it go that, till? That's a different type of party. Did Ellen DeGeneres know a bit too much? <laughs> Ellen DeGeneres, the queen of talk shows, cozying up with none other than the legendary daddy himself. But it's not just friendly chit chat over tea. Ellen was allegedly a regular at Diddy's notorious parties. Now we have some tea to spill about the chilling and mysterious death of Twitch, a beloved figure in the Twitch community. As investigators dig deeper, whispers of an affair between Diddy and Twitch started circulating and and guess who might have been in the know? That's right, Ellen. It's possible that Twitch might have known some dark secrets about Ellen and Diddy. Some even believe that his death wasn't an accident and it was a sinister cover-up to silence him for good. All eyes are on Diddy and Ellen, wondering just how deep their connection goes and what skeletons might be hiding their closets. So it started like this. Ellen and Diddy were kind of best buds. They used to have a chat on her show and she even went to his parties, maybe as a move to hide what was happening behind the scenes. She once asked Diddy about why she never gets invited to his birthday bashes, but Diddy knew exactly what to say. He said that he had been inviting her, but she was always a no-show, and Ellen casually said that it's because they're on the East Coast. Diddy's like, yeah, that's it, but Ellen's like, why not have one here on the West Coast? Rumor has it that Ellen's been sneaking into Diddy's after-hours parties, you know, the ones they don't talk about on TV. Diddy hinted at it during an interview, but Ellen tried to play it cool like she was just joking. But we all know that where there's smoke, there's fire. So, Diddy's parties? They start early, like around 9.30 early, but then they keep going until 3 in the morning. And get this, they even take over the top floors of hotels for the after-party shenanigans. Now, there's this crazy viral paparazzi video making the rounds. The paparazzi caught Ellen slipping, and they didn't go easy on her. They straight up asked her about these rumors about Diddy, and she looked stressed. People are wondering why Ellen seems to freak out when whenever Diddy's name comes up. The reporter hits her, asking her if she's surprised by the allegations against Diddy. Ellen starts stuttering like she's about to bolt. Something is definitely not adding up here. Fans are going full detective mode, digging into Diddy and Ellen's connection. They're uncovering some juicy stuff. It turns out, these two have more in common than we thought. Sure, Ellen might not have the same legal troubles as Diddy, but she's not exactly squeaky clean either. Remember when she got called the meanest woman in Hollywood? Yeah, there's a reason for that. Ellen's got a laundry list of accusations against her, from mistreating her staff to rumors about her controlling behavior towards her wife Portia. It's a whole messy situation and she's facing some harsh reality. A former staffer started sharing stories that didn't quite match Ellen's sunny TV personality, but the real nuclear bomb came in 2016 when Kathy Griffin spilled some major gossip in her memoir. Now, Kathy didn't name any names, but the hints were pretty pretty obvious. Short blonde hair, a reputation for being a bit mean, it wasn't hard to figure out who she was talking about. Their beef goes way back to 2007 when Ellen threw some shade at Kathy in her monologue. As a former funny lady, Kathy expected some sisterhood, not shade. She even tried to patch things up but Ellen wasn't having it. She basically said, I don't have to like everyone I have on my show. This opened the floodgates for others to speak about their not so great experiences with Ellen. Fast forward to 2008 when Ellen had Mariah Carey on her show. You know, the one where celebs spill the tea and have a good time. So Ellen being Ellen started poking around those juicy rumors about Mariah Carey. But instead of a fun chat, it turned into a cringeworthy moment. Mariah wasn't feeling it at all. Ellen brings up the pregnancy rumors and and Mariah's like, um, let's not go there. But Ellen, not getting the hint, offers her champagne, thinking she's pregnant. Mariah politely declines, and Ellen insists, saying it's not really champagne. But Mariah's like, I can't believe you're doing this to me, Ellen. It was a mess. Ellen tries to play it off as a joke, but Mariah wasn't having it. Later, we find out Mariah was actually going through a miscarriage at the time. Years later, Mariah opened up about the whole thing, and it wasn't a proud moment for Ellen. Let's talk about that unforgettable moment with Dakota Johnson and Ellen. So Ellen thought she could brush off not being invited to Dakota's birthday bash like it was no big deal, but Dakota wasn't having it. She straight up called Ellen out on her fib, and you could see the regret on Ellen's face. Dakota was like, um, actually, you were invited. Ellen tried to play it cool, 
saying she didn't know she was wanted, but Dakota wasn't buying it. She put Ellen in her place like a boss, and you gotta hand it to Dakota, she didn't hold back. Ellen thought she could slide past Dakota, but she was way off the mark, and the same routine went on with Wendy Williams. She's had some real showdowns with both Diddy and Ellen. First off, Diddy supposedly used his clout to get Wendy kicked off the radio waves. Allegedly, he wasn't too thrilled about Wendy dishing out some spicy gossip, so he made some calls and Wendy was banned from the airwaves and people were talking about it. Diddy's power move left Wendy out of a jump just like that. It was a real eye-opener for those who saw it go down. Rumor has it, Diddy was so determined to keep his secret safe that he allegedly ordered some rough stuff on Wendy. Yep, it's pretty intense. There were rumors about Diddy sending his crew to confront Wendy at work. Not exactly the smoothest move, Diddy. Wendy had her own share of drama back in the day. There were stories floating around about her getting into all sorts of situations, and now it's all coming back full circle. Wendy also had some tea on Diddy's secretive antics back in the day when it was a big no-no in the rap world. She even had a pick up Diddy in a compromising situation with another guy. The vibes between Wendy and Ellen were anything but friendly. Wendy threw some shade at Ellen over rumors of a toxic vibe at her studio. Ellen tried to brush it off. She even spilled about her own not-so-great experiences on Ellen's show. And we're on to the mystery surrounding Steven Twitch boss's death. New evidence suggests Ellen and Diddy might have been involved in its demise. We're talking about some serious stuff here. Tapes of Ellen doing some shady things with escorts hired by Diddy. Officially, they said it was suicide, but something just doesn't sit right with people. Twitch was all about spreading good vibes and loving his family. Twitch left home on December 12th, checked into a motel nearby, and the next day, he's found dead in the bathroom. His wife Allison was freaking out because Twitch never went anywhere without his car. Cops found a note hinting at past struggles, but even with that, fans are suspicious. Some think Twitch got caught up in some serious blackmail stuff involving them. No hard proof, but the fact that Twitch was tight with Ellen for years makes people wonder. Meanwhile, former house keeper spilled a tea, describing Ellen as a tyrant who loved axing people for the smallest of mistakes. She'd even make passive-aggressive lists, pointing out every little thing her staff did wrong. Ellen apparently set up what could only be described as traps around her mansion to catch her cleaners off guard, and anyone who dared to set foot in Ellen's territory, like handymen or security guards, were met with criticism and condensation. One former staffer didn't hold back, calling Ellen the worst person they'd ever met. Even her own dogs seemed to prefer her wife Portia over her. To make matters worse, Ellen supposedly ignored mistreatment and racism happening right under her nose. Diddy's former bodyguard spilled the tea on how he treated his baby mamas. Misa Hilton had to pull off a Mission Impossible style escape under a car to get away from him. It's a wild story, but sadly, it's not uncommon in Hollywood. He'd always start with that play fighting stuff, you know, like messing around with someone, but as soon as the girl told him to stop and it got serious, that's when things went downhill. Kim Porter, she allegedly got her nose broken and was followed like she was in some spy movie. Seems like everyone in Hollywood's caught up in Diddy's mess, either turning a blind eye or getting involved. And while we might expect big names like Beyonce, Daisy, and Kim K to be in the mix, Ellen's presence surprises many. We don't know who else will get dragged down. Folks, share your thoughts in the comments below, and also, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Until next time, see you all!